Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And believe it or not, they didn't remove this car from the game. This is the Virgo, I believe. Yeah, the Albany Virgo. Which is a Cadillac. Pretty much your personal Cadillac kind of car. Now, it's an interesting thing. If you look at... We're going to have to look at the modifications on this. Travel and transport. You go to Benny's. You go to stock. I mean, when I look at this, that's the that's the Dundreary Virgo. What's the Albany? What what am I looking at? Let's start over. No, yeah, I'm sorry, but I I can't. I I just can't. Hi. Well, I, I think it's because of Morris, Paula. Remember Chicago, fate. Kismet. No, I don't remember Chicago, Paula. You got me drunk. Okay, I'm, I'm confused. Why is it here? You've got the Dundreary Virgo with the squared off headlights. Well, uh, that, is that the same car? This looks curvier. This looks better and curvier. Round nose. It's the Albany Virgo here. Okay, I'm I'm up for an experiment. I'm up for an experiment. Let's us do this. And it's gonna cost me some money. I've got some money. Travel and transport. Benny's. I mean, it's just like a well-known thing that it's all been in one place, and but this looks different. Stock vehicle. We'll put it in red to compare. Buy the stock vehicle for 165k. All right, do it. Do it. We're gonna put it right across the street here from this one, right in B1. Because this looks like it's got more lines than that. The Albany Virgo. Your Virgo Classic. Is has this been removed? Or is it gonna look exactly the same when it appears across from here? This is a Virgo and a Virgo Classic. Actually, the location should be defined by now, so we should. The Virgo Classic is going to go there. Where is it? We where do we want it? We want it there. Virgo Classic. Well, what's the other one? What is the one I'm looking at? Virgo. So there's a Virgo and a Virgo Classic. There's two different cars. So the Virgo... Where the heck do you get the... So, so those are two completely different cars. The Virgo and the Virgo Classic. And what's the... So the $165,000 one, which I'm not even remotely concerned about. I'm not, you know, is this one. Did they remove the... This is removed then. Two door. There's the Chino. The, the Chino is still around. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it wasn't removed. Part of the gets is it's just 195,000. The ill-gotten gains update. Which then you have to decide: Do you want them? I don't think this is a Benny's. This is the one we're going to focus on today. No, we can't. We can't benefit. Well, that messed me up. The Virgo Classic and the Classic looks newer than this one. Fender skirts. Oh, do 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 do. Let's see. Do we want that? Yeah, Fender skirts, antennas. Fender skirts and antennas.
Why not load it up? Bumpers, front bumpers, custom front bumper. Whoa, that looks that looks beefier. I'm not sure what kind of build that's going for there. Rear bumpers. Yo, wow. Um, yeah, that's we're not doing that. We're not doing either of those. I'm starting to even wonder, but do I want to keep the fender covers? And antennas. This is get more aerodynamic, I guess. <laughs> Engine, exhaust, chrome tip exhaust. You know, I normally go for that. That looks not as good as this. You know, I prefer the kind of the fenders. Oh, good curb. Oh, curb feelers. We can have the curb feelers out there. It's like a low rider without being a low rider. Chrome grill. Oh goodness, you could make this. There's your stock grill. Then you go back to bumpers. If you really wanted to make it just a wall of chrome out front. Hood. Superchargers. No, that's not this kind of color. Not what I'm searching for here. Horn. We'll leave the horn stock for right now. Lights. Neon kit, neon layout. Don't know what the color is going to be just yet, but we need that. Plate, we'll leave alone for. Well, we can turn it to yellow and blue. The little Pennsylvania ones. Respray. Prime. There's only a primary. Boy, that limits us. Like, what should a, an old Cadillac be? That's pretty compelling. Growing up, those old, I always used to see those old 70s Cadillacs. This is probably older than that, but like in, in that kind of gold. Is it the only option? I mean, we could go modernize the new kind of things here. It's an Albany, it's a Cadillac. Road. What if one of the brushed gold? That looks a little too frosty. And then the pure gold. Pure gold might work. Just absolute metallicness. Let's do it to it. I, I like that other gold with the orange and canvas. It has a, a nice feel to it. But this, this looks, this looks seventies. You know, kind of a seventies. If somebody worked this in the seventies, suspension. We slam it down. Put the transmission in, put the turbo in, because this thing's going to need help. It's not going to be a little tight. Do we want to go high end? Chrome, obviously. Is that too modern, or do we have to go low rider with some chrome rims? You know me and flares. Boy, I'll tell you. Wired, triple golds. Should we go with the stock rim on the triple golds so we can get gold? Dollar rims. There you go. Big worm. 
My difference between the triple goals and the big worm is the the knockoff. It's easier to change. It's a gold card. Let's go triple gold just for the the name of it. Wheel color. Gold looks even a little lit, little lit, doesn't quite match. I remember bronze sometimes used to match better. There you go. Bronze matches gold. We don't know why. Tires, tire design. Do we want to go white? Yeah, we have to go white wall on this, don't we? Bulletproof white wall tires. Goes with the curb feelers. Windows. Light smoke? Or, or limo. Does this really require a limo, you think? Not like it's getting raced anytime soon. Yeah, it's, the rule is light smoke is a you know, general thing. You won't be able to see out the side windows a little bit. I like it that way. It looks dark enough anyway. I think we're at the point of there we have it. Exit the arena. Leave, yeah, we'll leave the white lights. Should we give it white lights in the, um, the, 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 the headlights match? It is customed out, so if we back it back into B1. Like, usually this is a car I'd leave the stock headlights on. But, since we have the option. Lights. Headlights. White lights are unlocked, thank goodness. That does look better. Not a that fast car. The fact that they call this muscle. Oh, I do not have confidence in this going up Chile. You feel like a Chile disaster in one of these? Truly, truly not designed for it. Kind of what we've been doing. But should I get away from the Chiliad hot lap road here? Because it's not really even the hot lap road. Hot lap road. Hot lap route anymore. I can talk. I'm sure I can talk. It's kind of just what we've been doing. Do you have some other measure of these things? I used to go back to if I started timing them at the Sonora Freeway again. That would be good. Might be better. Give you a better idea. But it does, you know. I did make this track, so it's like, well... Why not use the track I made, right? Why not? I say, why not? Start inviting people to this. Okay, the blade. We have a lot of muscle cars. Still one more of those to build. One more Eudora to build. Forgot about that. I have a lot of muscle cars. I have two of these? Where's the other one? How do I have two Virgos? And that's not the Virgo Clyde. Oh, whoa, that's just different. So I have two. When did I pick up two? I mean, they're cheap. Where is that one? Well, we're going to sell that one off. I don't think, you know, I, I think we're, we're good here with this one. Confirm, continue. 
we've used some ammo recently. Theoretically, I could get rid of both of them. That didn't go quite well enough. We're not dead, but we really are just trapped in here. There's a train, but that's... We're not going to get a great time out of this anyway. Okay, this is the point. The kick to the side. Yeah, I just went a little bit too far to the left. There you go. Doesn't have a bad sound to it. Can we jump this onto the train? We could jump over the train, but we didn't, didn't have enough control to jump on. It was more of a yeet. Oh, too many rocks and things. And squishiness. Oh, we're going to get destroyed there. We're just stuck, as often happens with a deep red. about here. I'm still reeling from the, my last attempt to get into a Jeep Red, which, you know, they had... I was there, I was at the start, just kept crashing, they couldn't handle it. They were victims of their own success, and there were over almost 300 people trying to do a Jeep Red. The normal is 30, so I mean, 10 times as many people as you would think. Predictably, the server did not, was not happy. I never did get to do that. I've only been in one Super G Fred with a lot of people, and I got kicked out of that one when Tank or Dune jumped in my car, so that was just heartbreak as well. So, I mean, the only time I'm going to get to do this is when I do these, uh, <laughs> do these tests. Alright, place your bets. What do you think? This is going to surprise us? It's going to fly right up this hill, or you think it's going to bog out almost instantly, because although it sounds good, it's big, it's heavy, it probably has smog controls, not as much horsepower as one would hope, we'll see what happens, we're about to find out. Right against the limiter there. Not that this should have a limiter, it should have just popped the motor, but you know, hey, we'll take what modern convenience we can in this. Okay. I like the sound so far. So far, it sounds like we've got enough RPM. Going a little bit. Got too much RPM. I feel like looking to the left, it went off to the wrong side there a little bit. Let's drop back down. We're going to try this again. I think. You hit this plateau. Get to the plateau. Mm -hmm. 
It is a muscle car. Can we use the wheelie? Almost. That's not going well. Okay. Come on, you boat. Let's do this. I feel like you can do this. So close. Reverse it now, it just slid too far. Now we're going down. I feel like this could do it in just the right condition, but just you know, if I could do it just right it might be able to, but also that could be absolute silliness. We really didn't think it would do that well. Oh, we're turtling down now. Come on. Okay, we gotta make it to the path. And that's not the path. The path is over here. I'm confident it will get up there. There's a path here? I don't see the path. Let's get to that path. I'm more confident about this path, you can see it. They got one called Virgo Classic, and it's clearly a Dodge with a Dundreary lane on a Chrysler kind of thing. I think that's what Dundreary is. It could be wrong. And they're both Virgos. This is a Virgo, that's a Virgo. This is clearly a different Virgo. Now I have to find out where the other one is and sell it. But I need parking. Do we do we build the other one and call it a tale of two Virgos, like the other the Dundreary? One will be wildly more expensive than this, you know, because it does have the Benny upgrade. I think we could safely say this can't make the hot lap, but it can. It could be used. If you knew, if you knew this route, or the maybe the OG. I don't like the OG route. I'll be honest. I've had some bad experiences on that. It's almost certainly faster than this. Ooh, we yeeted it a little bit there, trying to keep the momentum going, but. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Light my fire. Light my fire. Yeah. It's an arrow for this, you know. Those curb feelers still hung on? Hey, listen. We've got a lot of curb to feel here. Okay. Can it do the yeet to the, to the street here? We're going to go yeet. Almost gets all the way up there. Whoa. Maybe I could have. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. All right. We've got a checkpoint. That's good. So this this one's a little bit limited with its uh, with its customization. It has some. Again, it's like 
kind of like they wanted to make this a Benny's and then probably forgot because they had the other one. There's some confusion and delay. But it doesn't need Benny. It's cool enough on its own. It certainly is resilient. As a big old Cadillac should be. I'm doing completely just reverse there. Oh, this is full yeet. Full yeet for the street. Let's go! Send it into the trees! Ah! 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 Slam! Oh! True 70s just beat the train style. Sometimes they, back in the 70s, sometimes they didn't beat the train. I'm looking at you, uh, Dirty Harry, Crazy Mary, or whatever that was called. Dirty, Dirty Larry. Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, was that the... Couldn't let them get away with it right now. Well, that was the seventies, and this is probably a sixties Cadillac kind of build, but it's you know kind of car. But it, it's a set very you know with the gold paint and the curb feelers and the white walls and the. I think it's very much a Starsky and Hutch kind of build here. Yeah, very seventies, seventies. Low rider kind of thing. It's a low rider before they were putting bags on things. It was just lowered, you know? It's old school. I like this car. More than it probably deserves. I mean, look at it. Just look at the big old whole front. It's a chrome battering ram. Eat my chrome. This is the perfect car to take to the car. Sleep in the back. Try to keep as much momentum going as we can here. The bushes are slowing it down. As they do all cars now, they, they've modified the bushes so they're less transparent to the vehicle. Which, I mean, you know, that's that's somewhat reality. You, you do go slower driving through bushes than not. Believe it or not, in real life. Not enough to... Can you make up the thing? No. Those poor white walls are all a mess. Yeet for the street! Let's go. Dirt. We'll have to sell that other one. We're only gonna get probably like eighty grand for it. But... Hey, it's another eighty grand. And it's a parking space. A parking. That's the thing. Where the heck is that? I'm gonna try wheeling it straight over the wall and into the into the thing or into the finish line. Where else would I have one of those?
So are you down with this doing this twice here? You want to do Virgo versus Virgo, Dunbury versus Albany? Pretty car. I like the way that turned out. Yeah, we still have a bounty from a car I stole to get someplace. Um, let's see. Find new session. No, I'm not doing public just yet. I may start doing some, some videos where I'm just cruising around in a public just to see what it's like nowadays. Just for the sheer mask of masochism of it. Masochism. Well, let's do something first here. We have to figure this out. Let's get outside. I'll take care of that at some point after this. Let's get outside. Let's call up my mechanic and say, listen, dude, why do you even let me do this to myself? How could you let me own two of these without even realizing? Hey, Pankra's on. Mechanic. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I dumped a lot of stuff up in... There it is. It's in, it's in Office 1. Too close to your personal. I'll, I'll get back outside. to it then. Okay, fine. We do. We go. We get to vehicles. Return to storage. Then we're gonna do mechanique. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. You I'll hook you up. Johnny on the spot. We made a mistake. We bought two of these. I'll in bring the, it to you. In the great panic of. Uh, of 2023, the, the FOMO panic. Wow, that was weird. And there's another one. I, we don't need to. If I hadn't, you know, burned up 50 spots trying to uh, buy all these cars. I mean, I had, I got the 50 car garage, I cleaned everything out, I was set for life. But then you had a guest up for there. Now, this isn't even one that you have to keep. Because you can still get it. Sell. 119. Alright. Sell. Yeah, let's cash that back out. It's a tale of three Virgos now. And then there's this one. Shall we do the, the... That's not even that bad an upgrade. Back when the game was reasonable. Nice. I'm thinking, this reminds me, it's not, it's not exactly the same, obviously. Because it's not... It's, this isn't a Thunderbird. I, I, I grew up driving a... Uh, I come to think of, do I have one? I have one of these on the other character. I think. No, if I have one of these... I do have... Don't I have one of these that is the... Uh, the car from... Oh, hold on a second. Exit the, exit the arena. I might have one of these already, too. Hold on. We can save some, I mean, we will piss some money away here, but... I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? Where is... Yeah, it might be on, uh, in Rusty Jack. Yeah, I don't have that garage. Okay. okay. I got stuff to do. You got stuff to do, I got stuff to do. I do have one of these, but it's on Rusty Jack's character, so we might as well just do this to this. This might perform a little bit better because you get some performance enhancement when you do, you do the bennies. We 
we're going to do a, a very, very loose homage to the car I learned to drive on, a 77 Thunderbird. Which was a red and white kind of deal. We're going to make it silly, of course, so. Classic antennas. So we do the whip. Do the dual loop. Let's do the classic wipers. Chrome wipers, secondary painted wipers. Let's go chrome. Tank. Livery tank. Okay, let's. We'll do that. This may end up getting a livery. It may go completely. Ooh, ribbed for our pleasure. I will give that instead. Okay. I feel like we really do need air filter here. Let's just do that. Rev it up. That was a huge increase in speed. Dual exit, big bore, chrome tip. Where are they? Way underneath. I don't want the, the occupants to be uh, smothered. The grill, the chrome grill, the sports grill, the mesh grill. I'm liking sports. It's sporting. The transaction pending thing isn't liking it, but okay, there we go. The horn, we'll leave that go for right now. Hydraulics, I only like to, I, I don't want this thing looking too slammed and weird. We're going to leave that go. Interior, trim, trim color. Absolutely, we're going, we're going full up ice white on this one. That's, that's exactly how the interior was in my old one. Ornaments, no, we're not doing a bobblehead on this. Dials. I think plain Jane works. Steering wheel. It's just a plain wood grain. There you go. We'll go with the wood green steering wheel. Column shift levers. Yeah, I have one that's just like a table leg, because after a while. Yeah, let's go with the pistola. Police wood. <laughs> I remember as that car really aged and we really pushed it to the limit. Uh, I know plaques. Ice. Oh, let's go with neon. Whatever that means. Light color. Yeah, ice white to match everything else. You go, can go so hard on a Benny's build. Lights. Headlights. We can do the white light, white light thing again. Livery. Okay, so... I'm open-minded here. The car I drove didn't, obviously didn't have a paint job like any of these, but let's leave it for right now. Respray primary color. Classic red is what it is. Secondary color. Classic. Do you have ice white?
Now, the one I had actually just had a, a, a little bit of the roof was white. There's, you know, it's a, one of those kind of decorative things across the back kind of deal. But that that's close enough for for mem memories. Trim color. We already did that. Okay. Transmission. Trunk. None of this giver gives you a usable trunk, so. Premium wall of sound neon. Extreme trunk install neon. Let's do extreme trunk install. Wah. Turbo. Definitely needed. Wheels. Wheel type. Benny's Bespoke. If I'm going for... Actually, if I'm going for the uh, the look of the original, it be it would be the flares. One of the reasons I like the flares so much. And believe it or not, it had one side that were silver and one side that were red because we just kept them on sides. The, I don't know if the paint had come off. That looks that looks pretty darn close. That different red look better. Does, does the sunset red match better to this red? No. That red does look a little too bright, but we're okay with it. Tires, tire design. We're not going white walls, believe it or not. Not for this one. We are making the bulletproof. Smoke will leave alone. Windows. That actually did have tinted windows. They weren't limo. I bet you it was dark smoke at one point. Like they had to have them. I'm trying to remember. Is that the one they had? It, they made them take it off. You could see out. That car was that. That 77 Tiber was great. We were on vacation, and we we're merging into construction. We got rear-ended by a tractor trailer. I slept through it. The only reason I woke up was because, like, the road noise stopped. And you wake up like, oh, how come we're stopped? Oh, we were hit by a tractor trailer. What? It, it, it bent up the back pretty good, like the back corner. But, like, we drove that car the rest of vacation. And we, we just kept going. So a net gain of zero here on the uh, on the parking spaces. What do you think? This feels a little bit zippier. Than the other Virgo. Could this be the sleeper? Could you think? This one would not be the one to make it up. It is heavier, more heavily customized. I do want to do just a, you know, a a, a, a Benny's that is completely just white, uh, white canvas and with, with one of the wild uh, liveries put over the top of it. Time of day, the same things. There it is. That quickly. I'm digging it. And this is the Dundreary one, so. Let's let's extend the the uh, the ride height a little bit here. I don't know, I'm not feeling the acceleration. 
at all. Wow, that had nothing. Okay, can we do a... With the wheels extended, can we do a river crossing? We can! Oh, very nice. I wonder if this has really bad off-road tra off traction loss. Wow, okay. Come on. Come on, Dundreary. You can beat this. You can get on the tracks and beat the train. You lose performance if you extend the wheels. Yeah, I think I dropped them. Yeah, we're dropped back down the weeds. So we're we gonna go faster now, or just have more problems? I don't know. But that acceleration was not impressive. That wading through the water was. with the feeling it out here I don't feel like it's gonna do very well and it could be an off-road tracks and loss kind of thing or the fact that this thing is just low you could probably look them both up I mean you certainly could look at both up uh, what's that website Ruffy's got going gtacars.com or dot, dot DT, I don't know. The man has built a website dedicated to car performance. I mean, that's just insane. Oh man, I am not feeling it. Pump the wheels up here a little bit. This is dying early. From that angle, though, it really does remind me of the old T-Bird. The old T-Bird is not climbing this hill. This is not as good a performer. Oh, dearie my. Dun dreary my. It wheelies itself all the way back down. Okay. Ow. That's gonna... That's gonna leave a mark. Ow, ow, ow. Terribly funny if it just exploded, but you know, and then we'd have to jump the river again. Well, we don't have to. That's just a line. You can just drive around the uh, the bridge and climb up. It's not a big deal. Find the path. Follow the path. I'm not confident this is going to get up at all. And they say, well, Black Knight, you're driving a lowrider up a mountain. Yeah, I know, but it seemed like it had it initially like a little bit more power than the other one, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Once you get it out in the wild. Yeah, I think on my other character I have this dump like the car from. Oh, this is bad. Do the Bennies have a really awful off-road traction loss, I wonder? Or is this thing just a dog? I'm not giving up. Well, eventually I'll give up, but it's obvious that there's, it's not making it. We could jump out of the car and then climb the mountain to finish the race. I've never done that before. Abandon the wheels, get to the top. With the acknowledgement that it's a fail. Come on. Did 
taking a lot of concentration here. could be dangerous right here. Can it, does it have enough momentum? Do we have the mo? I'm floored the whole way up here. Obviously I'm in PC. That's how you can how you got. It's floored or not floored. It's very digital. I'm not using a controller on the PC yet. To get a controller on the PC. Try it out. Thank Roy Jones has been telling me to do that for a long time and haven't done it yet. Come on, let's do this thing. You can do this. We're so close. Don't let the other Virgo beat ya. Well, I mean, obviously it already has because it got up here a lot quicker. Again, I don't know. Is that just an off-road traction loss value kind of thing? Boopity, all right, yeah, well, we made it. <laughs> now can we go back down? We've got the, the, the still have the, uh, the wheels extended here. I popped them back out here for a little bit of ground clearance. Mountain goat this down. Tell you what, it's still light. Well, that was. I was going for some kind of flip to do there, but not the one I got. But if I hit that, it could do a barrel roll into the line that I wanted, but it wasn't quite the line I wanted. Yeah, get this way over. All right, we're closer now. It's the yeet. Oh dear, yeet into the trees. Ow, ow. We're we're a, we're a pinball wizard. Almost down. There's the train. It's a little worse for wear, gang. So wheels up. Let's. Where's that button? There we go. We're down. No riding again here. Skidding across the tracks. I prefer the least the least radical setting for the pumps where it, the wheels look pretty normal. They're not hugely towed out one way or another. And once you add a pump, you can't go back to this uh, this uh, setting. Interestingly enough, you can never go back to the stock one. That annoyed me to think so much on my faction custom that I, I sold the car and then bought a new one and put it back in there. That was a long time ago. That car wasn't so rich, too, so that was a little, a little decision. A heavy, weighty decision. And this is an even heavier, weightier car. Okay. Hey, that was pretty, pretty smooth. All right. It does not feel as quick. I don't know exactly why, but... Maybe it's because it's not, but... 
whatever reason, I feel like the other the other Virgo was a faster car. You look on Ruffy's videos or on GTA cars that or yeah, GTA cars, I think it's the name. Of it. That oh that did. I forgot about the big old bumper. Big old big old bumper. Let's get the big old bumper. It's got a big old bumper right up front. It's got a big old bumper gonna bump your house. Let's go here. You don't wanna gotta be careful how you rhyme in this game. Let's uh Okay here, so hold on. We're going through the jump. For the bushes. Oh, we have enough momentum. Let's go back down. This is a relative flat point over here. And I come from here. See, it'll still burn rubber. It still accelerates. I think... I don't know if it's off from traction lines or what, but it just seems to dog out on the dirt. This is not making the jump, but we're going to try it. That wasn't even close. Not even a little bit. Not a stellar performance, but it's it's got it, it got the job done in the end result. He finished first, yay! I'm trying to remember now, did it have a white top with a red piece in the middle? I have to find pictures now. That might be closer than I even remember. To the old... The old Thunderbird. I guess it's worth it to do the the digital car attic thing of opening all the doors here. Check his channel out. He should he should be in the uh, he should be in the library in the description. Because I I want these. It's really worth it to pop everything. Because you got you have the neon glowing speakers. A custom interior with two shifters, mind you. You could shift either one. Big old, big old motor. With entirely too much metal around it. That's just weird. Almost took out my door. Almost took out my door again. Come on, peoples. And on that note, folks, I like this one. Not for any particular reason, just, you know, I've built it up to an, as an adequate sentimental memory. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.
Do you see what I see, Reese? Wonder what goes on in there. Boy, that's the trouble with surveillance. You don't get to see nothing. <laughs>